Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Universitati Cluj versus Rapid Bucharest. Thanks Derek. Well often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing. But so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And now they get the ball rolling. Tiam. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Repulia. Can he do it? And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Nistor I must say this looks promising Tiam just the challenge that was required And the referee sees that as a foul, free kick given. Well, successfully cut out. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Can he put it away here? And the keeper did more than enough. Playing it short. 
Nistor. Another opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one. Who can he pick out? And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Nistor. Well, can they prize them open now? Surely! Foiling his opponent completely. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Disappointing pass. Mamadou Tiam. A oh, tremendous vision. And the cross into the middle. That's all they can conjure for now. So nearly at half time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Getting forward. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Now well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And does well to keep it in play. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And giving it away. Mamadou Tiam. He continues his run. Well, tremendous block. Really vital interception. Surely! And a fantastic diving save. So a personnel change then. And over comes the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. Morais. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And time for the change now. Played over. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Counter attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage of the situation? And a long way out here. Oh, he's missed the chance to extend their advantage. Well, it was a decent effort, but not quite good enough to extend their lead. Matic. Nistor. Well, good idea, but just a little bit too much on the ball. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. It's a good looking ball in behind and a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Nistor Emmers and slipped through beautifully a really effective shielding under pressure keeping the ball moving well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending and the counter attack is on options available they need to get bodies back. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Who's going to get on the end of it? And caught by the keeper. Into an attacking position, it's not too late for them. It needs an accurate cross and read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off, but he was spot on with his challenge. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.